So thanks for joining us, Taylor. We're here to talk about pass fail and potentially implement implementing it here at WashU. So what are your thoughts on on that system being applied to our second year? I don't know why we don't do it. And what about it? Uh, so why do you say that? I want to do as little as possible. Uh, I mean, I honestly think pass fail kind of like decreases stress a little bit. Uh, I think that there's less pressure. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like there's any difference in, in collaboration here because of our grading system? No. I mean, I, so the step one scores aren't supposed to be different. At the end of the day, who's really going to care what our grades are in like two, three, four years? And what are some benefits in terms of uh, the way our class would study that you see in such a system? And why do you think that so many other universities have employed pass fail systems instead of the, the grading format that we have? Because no one cares about grades. So, what are, you, what are your thoughts on implementing a pass fail system in medical school? Like, I, like, really, no one but us cares about. How would you feel if uh, if your doctor um, got his degree passing his classes at a 65% pass rate? Um, like, 30 years don't care, 4th years don't care, like, the rest of America does not care. I would be very scared, like, say, 50% is passing. How would you feel if you were, uh, if you were going into surgery and your, your surgeon had gotten through medical school? <laughs> With a 65% pass rate. It'd be pretty nervous. Thanks for joining us again, Nick. Um, so we're here talking about pass-fail at WashU. What are your opinions on potentially implementing a pass-fail system near Washington University? I think it would be a good idea because the WashU student body is sufficiently motivated. Mm -hmm. And that day it would have been... Mm -hmm.